And it's Priscilla Batzel in Spring Hill, Florida at Expressionist Art Studio Gallery in the backyard. Please give me a thumbs up if you like what I do to keep me at YouTube. Otherwise, I'm going to take this painting that um, I've tried to like, and I liked at one point in time, and I don't like it as much as I used to. And it's got to go. And what I'm going to do after I find my glasses, which are probably right there, is make up a couple of pans of color. I'm out of white satin enamel or I'd be using it. And a lot of times when I was an abstract expressionist, sometimes the most fun you can have is to cover over something that you don't like. Now I could float those if I'm a lot more careful. And I'm going to scoop them out with my shovel. I'm going to try and use colors that I love, that are different than the colors that I have there. We'll see if I can do that. We hope things keep flowing out of the bottles because I just cleaned my tips again. I've got another pink right here. I've been using red today and I want to continue on. That purple is making me happy. As long as I've got white, as long as the top is open, I can use my neon from Folk Art. And I don't know if the gold will stay or not but I'm willing to give it a try. I also think I'm going to brave a little yellow because a little goes a long way. I do not always like, yeah, well, that's the little I'm going to get. That's what's coming out, those drips. <laughs> now, what I really wanted to do was to pour some paint on that thing all over, but I was too nervous that it wasn't going to work. So what I'm going to do is take my shovel, put it to my side and start by filling my shovel full of black paint, like so. And then there are some nice things in here, like I like this, I just don't like a bunch of other stuff. And I want, I want to be able to spin my turntable free and clear. I definitely want to be able to make some weird shapes And I'm going to give myself permission to do it any way I want, which means basting brushes or balloons or blowing with a straw. Can't, I can't have everything on my table that I want all at once. You know what? I know there's another color that I want in there, which is a master, oh gosh, it's not Master's Touch, it's not Master Minds, it's Modern Masters. That's a paint that's at Michael's lately. I want that to come out. There's a blockage in my bottle. And I just cleared that. All right, so I'll use a different color orange over here. And I'm gonna give myself one more black shovelful of paint. and try and be judicious. I think that what I want is to get rid of some areas that are bothering me. That might make me really happy. I like the strange shapes. It makes me want to do white. I'm afraid if I do white, I'll get instant cells. But you know what? I've never done it, so let's go ahead and get down and get funky. I like the mixture of the black and white coming out more than I thought, <laughs> like way more. So I'm going to do it again. Am I? Yeah. Where's my, there it is. It's up there. And this will be the last time because 
I really want to put that other color in here. It's just a wild experiment and I'm loving my experimental colors. I'm going to scrape off my bottom, my shovel as I go. It's going to be a completely sur different surface on the top. I've got a Princeton Art Tool Catalyst Spatula. I could just scrape my shovel out, but I think I would rather just continue the way I'm going. Not minding that a bit. I'm going to let some paint go right over the side of my canvas from the shovel. Paint will flow to paint, so if I rest the shovel on the edge of the canvas, I will most certainly allow some paint to slide over. I want more of that orange that I couldn't get out. <laughs> I guess I'm going to give myself permission to just slide through that area that I really thought I liked a lot because I don't like it as much as I like what I'm doing which is a lot of fun and really really cool looking in my opinion and I might have to stop and clean out the, that orange tip because I really want that orange in here. Now. I'm not actually expecting to tip, and I was for a moment, but I really think that because I use GAC 800 by Golden in my mixes that I don't have to, and I don't want to, and that things are probably going to work out okay. As the paint dries, if it doesn't have GAC 800 in it and it's heavy, it will often be a problem and it will crack. And I know there's new, new pouring people starting all the time. So it's important for you to know that there is a solution. I don't know, I see some great cells in there. Maybe I'll have to tip a little bit. <laughs> we'll see, it would change everything very much. And I'm really liking what I've got. I do want to clean, I do want some more of that orange though. And it's definitely not coming out. I just tried it again. Must be the perfect temperature to... Ooh, that's a huge thing that's... Okay, now I'm all set. <laughs> Ooh, we got some really pretty cells happening over here. And because I love that orange, I just put it right in there. It's also got the thing that was clogging my bottle stuck to my skewer. All right, so that's neat, and I'm going to put some of that right in here. And I'm still enjoying keeping some of the background, because it's so contrastful. It's really wonderful. So far so good anyway. Not seeing a whole lot of that gold. But I have a lot of gold in the background. I really like that. Maybe it's just because it looks so different than other things I'm used to, but I really like it. Even onto allowing myself to dribble where I'm walking underneath my feet. 
So it's not complicated, it's just um, entertaining. I don't like destroying things that I love, but I always live in hope that something just as interesting will come along to make me feel better about what I just destroyed, and I've got some amazing cells. And the patterns in my paint are wonderful. I'm so happy I did this! <laughs> I really want to grab some of that white paint from over here and a spatula and see what happens when I do that. But basically, I'm going to ask you guys if you like what I, my experiments, if you like what I do, please give me a thumbs up, share my videos. If you want me to stay on YouTube, the best thing you can possibly do is decide to commit to uh, watching as much of the video as possible because the YouTube algorithm only reacts to the length of time. You can comment and that's helpful and thumbs up and that's helpful, but nothing is as helpful as watching the length of the video. Um, Payday is suffering vastly here. I don't know what's going on. I don't think it's down to you guys. They're also messing with uh, subscriptions and all kinds of other stuff. So I think I'm just going to leave this right like it is, heavy, and uh, I'll try and figure out something to do with the rest of my paint because I don't think I have any room for any more. I'm going to torch to release the bubbles in the paint. I'm going to look around and see if I hit my crib sheet on myself. And uh, just basically, because we have plenty of time left, tell you that I have Facebook groups. Expressionist Art Studio Gallery Appreciation Group is for students. Expressionist Art Studio Gallery Fans and Collectors is for fans and collectors. Look at those gorgeous little cells. Expressionist Art Studio Totes and More is uh, got the Shop Now link to where I have been posting my stuff on Fine Art America and uh, Pixels.com since 2013. If you'd like to help support the studio, you can do that one of several ways. My Amazon link at no added cost to you helps me out when you shop there, and lots of people have. Thank you very much for doing that, all of you. And uh, the same thank you goes to everybody who contributed to help keep the studio going. It's a $10 minimum to get in the monthly drawing, but the monthly drawing this month has seven paintings and a calendar and my book. And if you ask very nicely and you win and you want the new book, the new book is called Unlimited Possibilities. The old book is called Because I Can. I am excited about this. I just I just think that is fabulous. <laughs> I can't help it. And maybe it's because I'm an abstract expressionist and I don't always get to do things but exactly like I want to, but I'm really happy with this. And I can probably drag a couple things around and unify some places, but I don't think it needs much of anything. I like the sharpness of some places and the softness of others, and um, I'm really thrilled that you guys joined me. And um, check under the video for the clothing. That's from Teespring and me. My designs are there. And I said I wanted that orange, and I did put some in, but I think I want just a little tiny bit more. Because I can, sort of thing. <laughs> like the name of my book. Under show more under, <laughs> under the video. Um, Anyway, so check your notifications. They get turned off. So do your subscriptions. And um, this is a very incomplete list. I just want to say thank you guys for all the support you gave me in 2019. And uh, happy 2020. And I will see you anon. This is Priscilla Batsell in Spring Hill, Florida at Expressionist Art Studio going, Oh, I'm excited. This is so cool. I like it a lot. <laughs> I'm going to have to keep this one. I'll do another one. That is... Oh, yes, I'm excited. All right, I love you guys so much. There's almost 85,000 of you, and I will see you when I see you. And check the community board if you're looking for another video. Oh, yeah, I have 11 playlists of genres and uh, 10 playlists of by the hundreds. So um, if you go to my channel in the playlist, you'll find all kinds of cool stuff. Do I really want to do what I'm about to do? Yeah, I do. Oh, and there's... I can do more of that in another time. All right, bye for now. Priscilla out.